There were plenty of guys who made big moves into the Rivals 250 or within the Rivals 250, but I'm going to take a look at two wide receivers and a defensive back especially. Mark Webb uh, is a big receiver. This is a long striding guy who can do a lot of good things close to the line of scrimmage. By that I mean, you know, he could do uh, a lot of things with slants when he gets good inside position and, and then he can run after the play. We saw him at the Army Combine just dominate with his ability to catch the ball out front, become a big target, um, and really set up receivers on, on out routes and, and do a lot of things downfield as well. So he's a big, long, striding guy that, that a quarterback is going to love because, uh, again, he provides that big target. Brian Edwards is a defensive back who's added good size. We, we knew he could cover. We knew he was willing to come up and hit. But he's a guy that now that he's got more size, he's able to do that against bigger receivers. He's able to come up into the box and handle himself physically a little bit better than he was before. So he's a guy who's made a jump uh, on the physical side of things. And then Cameron Buckley is another one of those talented um, you know, wide receivers in the state of Texas. They are absolutely loaded with good wide receivers, whether they be slot or outside guys. He's more of a slot guy to me, but at six foot one, he's certainly not small. And he is filled out, uh, but I think he could play slot at the next level and be most effective because of his ability to change direction and get open uh, with one cut moves. But he could play outside also. He can handle, uh, you know, press coverage and do a lot of different things. And ball skills certainly off the charts, like a lot of these other guys. So I think it's a great year in Texas for wide receivers. Mark Webb is a special guy in Pennsylvania, is a big uh, wide receiver as well. And then Brian Edwards, uh, you know, making that physical jump since our last ranking. Yahoo!